Hi there Pisces, welcome to your reading. So this is going to be a short reading. Please do check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign because then you'll get a complete and accurate picture. And it's likely that the other, your other placements will also tap into other areas of life where this might be more dominant in one area of life. Um, so that's why I recommend that. I recommend that in all your readings, but especially the short ones that are very specific. Um, this is general reading, personalised reading. You can contact me on my email in the description box below. If you're a subscriber, thank you for supporting. If not, please do subscribe, share, like, let me know it resonated. Maybe share it with another person who resonates with Pisces placements or has Pisces in the charts. Or maybe you listen to this and you're like, yes, it resonates. But you know what? I think also so-and-so is going to resonate with this too. So I'm going to share it with them to get some divine guided messages and leave it down to them to pick up, to see what they pick up on. So Pisces, let's see what we've got for you. I'm getting the number 54 for you, which could break down to a nine. So 54 is coming through for you. Pisces. Six of Swords. This has come out in the last three readings I've done. Moon, Aquarius as well. Some of you could be Cuspers. Some of you could be Aquarius, Pisces, Cuspers. If you've got Capricorn in your chart, you might want to check that out as well. The Moon. Okay, so Six of Swords is where you've decided I've had enough of something. I am moving away. Now, your intuition has actually been speaking to you, and I wonder if some of you have been ignoring it. You've had dreams, intuition, either to move away, and you've only just decided to move away, maybe due to the fact that you've suffered some lies, maybe deceit, some theft. Something's happened, and you have finally decided to move away, okay? Which is great, because you want to move away from this. So if some of you have not had that energy, do be careful of people that may lie, may cheat, uh, may be deceptive, may be fee uh, thefts, okay? Because it's something that you might have not seen. I feel your intuition has been speaking to you. There's two energies here. Some of you have been ignoring it, okay? And some of you are finally coming to actually realise that. The hanged man tells me, you need to probably take a step back, really listen to your intuition at this moment in time, the six of wands, there's some fame and recognition coming for you, which is interesting, I feel like, um, hmm. I feel like you might have had a tower moment in your life, because you wasn't listening to your intuition, um, and you had to go through this to get to where you're heading, because you've got success and finally some recognition this is maybe where you released control and you try you decided you know I, I just can't seem to win at the moment um if you recently went through a breakup it was stalemate okay and this person seemed to be bad news anyway um there'll be someone coming in to rush in for you success the sun card breakthrough okay there is definitely a breakthrough here. Eight of Wands is in reverse, actually, which, okay, so we've got the Six of Wands, which is fame and breakthrough. We've got the Sun card, which is clarity. And also, you know, the sun is shining the pavement where the moon, moon was, you know, not giving you the clarity. The sun is coming to clear your pave, your journey to clear your pavement. Now, the Eight of Wands in reverse actually states like delays, unfocused energy, a lack of direction, maybe a tendency to hesitate. It could also be burn, burnout. So if you're feeling this and you've not taken a step back with the hanged man, you need to do that. The lack of focus was the energy of this moon that we felt. But that, sh that shifting with the six of wands and the sun card, place your energy where you are right now. Um, because I also feel there's someone new rushing in for you, okay? But you definitely, um, I feel like there might be someone wanting to have a conversation with you. Devil card. Capricorn is very strong in 
the readings like the significance of in Aquarius reading as well and Capricorn obviously so if you've got Capricorn in your charts this is confirming that but there's someone that's been preying on you like a wolf and they've been wanting to have a conversation page of cups and give you some clarity in some way some might be wanting to come in to offer you a love all right or some form of you know a new love expect someone to be reaching out basically chasing you or constantly trying to speak their peace this could also be you wanting to speak out to someone to gain clarity all right um which is then maybe going to cause you to feel a bit more stable as i say that the six of pentacles comes in it's a balance give and take the page of cups is maybe this new person also that i said is going to be rushing into towards you and they're going to be a much better balance of re reciprocity of the give and take of love that you give the person who's coming back in you will you will be able to know if they're the right person but from the look of this they've caused you a lot of anxiety a lot of distrust i'm getting the word distrust Whereas now you want the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Cups is available to you. This is also a balance in terms of your finances. If you felt it's a bit, been off kilter, the Queen of Cups remaining heart centered, listening to your intuition because you know it's best for you. When that communication comes in or some form of communication, you might feel you've got a difficult decision to make and you might actually feel like I can't see clearly. Okay, remember the Eight of Wands was lack of focus, lack of stability, maybe scattered energy. And you don't want to fall back into that, right? It could mean that there's a difficult, challenging decision. But ultimately, look at what your Ten of Cups is. And remember, your intuition has been speaking to you, Pisces, the world card. Some of you have been traveling. Some of you are traveling to move away. Some of you are traveling for a vacation. That's what I'm really getting might be after some form of tower moment you've taken okay this could also mean the person that's coming in is from a different city um country from abroad or while they or you are traveling they're going to make that communication and there we go the ace of cups confirming what i've just said so pisces this is a beautiful reading we've got different things going on here but it's going to resonate with you and please do check your sun moon rising and venus sign and um yeah i hope you have a lovely blessed day i can't get away from the beautiful energy of this new love offer coming in your ten of cups um and just releasing anything that's just been toxic for you and not giving you the clarity watch out for this difficult decision that you need to make make sure you listen to your intuition this time there's a lot of green on the table and i've being called to it to say could stay connected to your heart okay um don't get too much in the mental anguish of uh, anxiety and low low sort of mental energy that keeps you trapped in not being able to see clearly i've been called to look at the 21 of the world which is the world card is 21 two and one is the number three which means you know new network new vibes people with support um getting out there socializing okay so pisces i hope you enjoyed this if you did please do like and subscribe share it with other people and i will see you in your next readings take care of yourselves and bye for now